Okay, just wanted to kind of give a technical overview of the soft circuit project we're working on. Uh, we've got 100 high school girls that are coming, and we want to teach them a little bit about electronics. Um, this cute little guy is based on the uh, uh, MIT uh, project they published, but uh, we've actually just got a single coin cylinder and an RGB uh, fading LED hooked up. So that's kind of the the low tech approach. Uh, we wanted, however, to be able to teach them a little bit maybe about programming. Uh, we've got, get these little AT tiny chips that we can get for about a buck a piece. So the challenge was to put that into a project. Um, and make some kind of night light. So uh, what I've got here, I usually start with the Arduino to do some development. Uh, it's easier to uh, get debugging information back off the chip, but we've got an LED and a uh, photo cell. So what we want to be able to do is have something where uh, when the low light triggers event, have it, uh, have it do some kind of behavior here. And we've got a heartbeat pattern going. Uh, this is based on some firmware that MIT wrote for their uh, AT Tiny, and I've got it going for just about 10 seconds here, and then you hit the light and it does it again. So that's how we started. The next uh, phase was to move it onto a board on its AT Tiny, and this is a little messy because you got built to. Uh, program the chip and uh, for that we've actually this was part of another project we worked on where we developed a little programmer and this actually goes on top of the Arduino and that allows you to program either like an Atmel 328 if you want to f put the firmware or a uh, bootloader on a, another Arduino chip or you can um, put your AT Tiny in there and then just selecting the jumpers lets you pick which kind of chip you do or uh, in the case here you can see I've got my board, I've got an ISP header breakout on the board and so you can actually just talk straight to the board, the chip on the board and so that's how we uh, kind of test the firmware on the, the AT Tiny. We're actually using a 45, uh, save a few pennies and uh, once we get that ready to go then it can go into our project. So MIT has a board called uh, Lily Tiny that they've developed but that was a little bit uh, too much for our budget for the girls, so I uh, did a quick prototype of one. We had uh, OSH Park uh, donated us some board manufacturers, so this just allows us to pull out the pins and uh, get thread through them. We're using conductive thread, and then the idea is that the girls will be able to make some kind of uh, plushy toy like this, or this is the uh, Chick Tech flower logo here, and we've got, you can see the board here, batteries on the back and then the photocells right there so if I cover up the photocell yeah these prototypes never work do they so in a low light condition there we go uh, we get the blinking pattern this one will run for about a minute uh, uh, and then it goes into a sleep state so we're trying to save the battery so uh, in a given day, the LED would probably be on for about 10 minutes, and then the rest of the time the microprocessor is sleeping, and uh, so we're hoping to get the battery life out several weeks or a month. Uh, whereas in a case where you're just using a battery, you know, a coin cell and a LED, it's only going to last for a day or more, depending on the voltages and if you put a resistor in there. So I'm looking forward to it. It's been kind of a fun project to work on. Uh, I can't wait to see what the girls come up with. I'm sure they're going to blow us away with their creativity. Um, but uh, my creativity lies within the circuit design, I guess you could say. All right, thanks.